that's an effective way to exercise um, physically and mentally with your dog. It also practices engagement, which is very important. The more engagement you do with your dog under distraction, the more they'll look at you for guidance. So the easy way out, which a lot of people do, is to just let the dog roam free, um, no guidance, let them interact with the environment. And that's the easy and lazy way out. And it's not necessarily effective. You can run your dog six hours a day and it will still go home and be destructive and still rip up your couch and still have zoomies and run run around your room. It's it's how it's the structure you implement with your dog and it's how well you enforce it. You need to praise them. It's all about timing. You need to praise them when they're doing good. You need to tell them when they're not doing good. And that's basically all there is to it. So teach them more games. Teach them more games that has um, to do with you. That where you're controlling the game. It's practicing engagement. It's very, very important. So, you know, when it's cold out, you don't always, you know, when it's cold out, freezing, snowing, raining, you don't always have to go for a walk. Especially, especially if the walk is not structured and the dog is walking ahead of you and um, sniffing, doing whatever they want. It's not necessary. 10, 15 minutes of obedience drilling is way, way more effective and way more productive than just wanders aimlessly um, sniffing around or aimlessly walking. Drill you, drill, you could drill your dog with commands, sit down, come here, heal, you know, um, up, stand, duration work. You, you can, you can have your dog do duration work outside and it, it's, I'm telling you, it's mentally tiring for them. They will go home and they will lay down as they should. You know, I have I just came back from a short walk, you know, I did a little bit of um, back and forth, practicing heel, recall, you know, um, and they're, no, I can't flip it, and they're tired, they're down on the floor, you know, so it's, it's not, a lot of people try to do too much with their dogs. It's and some people just don't do anything with their dogs. But you don't need to do too much with your dog. Just keep everything structured. Um, practice on engagement. Create more games. Um, I'm gonna be releasing a forced fetch video real soon. It's gonna teach you how to teach your dog to fetch from beginning to start. Um, from from beginning to end. And it's a that's a really 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 good engagement um, exercise. So tire your dogs out doesn't require much. It doesn't require much. You have to teach your dog how to do nothing. Absolute nothing. That has to be taught. When your dog is home, and you know you I'm a big advocate for exercise, but you know you give them the proper exercise. You know you don't when you're when you're home you're you. They should be laying around. They should be laying down, doing nothing. If you don't teach your dog how to do nothing, they're going to do what they want. They're just going to roam, bite couches, sniff. They're going to get into trouble. Um, and if you want your dog to just free roam your house, I don't understand why you would want to, especially after. You know, some people feel bad for their dog because... They feel, oh, you know, it's sad. They look sad. They look bored. No, your dog is not sad. It's happy. It's content. It's calm. Let a, let a, let a sleeping dog lie. Whatever the phrase is. But it's true. D leave it alone. Let it let it be calm. It You're always going to... Especially if you're always, always constantly giving your dog affection when it's laying down, doing nothing. You're going to, first of all, it's... You're gonna get you can get your dog addicted to human affection, and you're gonna water down your praises. It's just it's you know when they're laying down, just let them lay down. Have them lay down after 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 your walk, after your drills, 
after your exercise. Leave them alone. Let them lay down. You know, they still, right now they're laying down because we just came back in and they're waiting for me to wipe their paws because they don't leave. They don't get up until I tell them, you know, until after I wipe their paws. See, she's still laying down. She knows. He knows. It's just, it's it's just structure. You should, you should know what your dog is doing 24-7. Every, every day, every minute, every second of the day, you should know what they're doing. Um, um, be very, you know, um, weary and cautious and mindful of their state of mind. Um. Always try to think, always try to be a step ahead of them, always try to, you know, um, know where they're at mentally. Are they anxious? Are they calm? You want to have your calm, you want to have your dog calm as much as possible. The, the more a dog behaves a certain way, that's who they become. So with that being said, um, you could practice the exercise that I just did with the heel, the recall. Um, you can start with treats, start with a long line, a long leash, 20 foot, and there you go.